very exciting. Something very exciting has arrived. No, not the butter knife, although well, that's quite exciting. It's Retro City Rampage 486 Edition. Carjack the 80s at 88 miles per hour. So this is the special edition designed to run on a 486. It's on a floppy disk and this is the boxed edition which includes things. This is number 489 out of a thousand. There's only a thousand of these being made. Let's have a look inside the box shall we? It's the bluntest butter knife on the planet. Leave the butter at room temperature for a day for that to work. Okay, so we're in the initial packaging. Now we have to penetrate the core box. Inside the core box, we have the disc, the 1.44 megabytes MS DOS version 1.0 for IBM PC and 100% compatible. So I miss getting discs. Inside, there is a little glasses cleaning cloth with a map of the city uh, there is the steam key there and a lovely instruction manual I do miss getting instruction manuals especially ones in color and with pages which turn from left to right it's quite weird it looks like I've just killed thousands of people and my eyes are covered in blood. So here we are, here is the box itself, rather standard affair, you know, what you get nowadays. About the same size as a NES box. On the back we've got some generic screenshots. The entire open world is in danger of you. Here's the disc itself. Oh yes, it's a thing of absolute beauty, isn't it? Look at this, listen to this sound. Which, you know, it's great if you've got glasses. I mean, you could always use it to clean these ones, but I don't feel it warrants it really, does it? Yes, I can see the image. Let's see if this works on camera. Oh, there we go. You see that? Lovely, that works an absolute fucking charm, doesn't it? Because we like that, don't we? We like to see pictures, especially when they're red. It's our favourite type of picture, there we go. Oh, delightful, what is that? I can't even tell through the viewfinder, some sort of hand creature monster type thing. Oh, behind the scenes, you want to have a look, don't you? You love it. What have we got? I've got, I can't see. Who are these people? Are these faces? Let me see. Yeah, these are just pixelated guys. Oh, got to be behind the scenes. Oh, I bet you're loving this, aren't you? This is like a, Day in paradise. Hope there's nothing important. I can't read it through the viewfinder. The end. Back to bed. So there we go. There's a note from the author that says, Thank you for purchasing Retro City Ramp. Oh, let's just get on with it. Come on. How to install the game. Turn your computer on. Place Retro City Rampage diskette in the drive. Type A and press enter, type install. Oh, just like it used to be. Oh, memories, here you go, look. Oh, look at it going in with this drive. Yes, success. Yeah. Oh, joysticks. A quick shot, Skyhawk. 42 million joysticks sold worldwide. Works of Windows 95. Probably the only thing that does. It's gonna be worth it, Retro City Rampage. Oh, look at that, it's a thing of absolute beauty. I love these joysticks. Joystick is in. We are go for installation. If the disc still works. Install! Please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, yes! Oh, if they was a rich man. 3.7 megabytes of hard disk space required. I'm sure I can spare that. Yes, yeah, slap it in the root directory. Look at that guy, what's he doing? He looks tired, man. <laughs> so 
So how to play, yeah, we can do that. Performance, uh, okay, yeah, if you're... Let's see what happens. Oh, isn't that music from the PC speaker? Oh yeah, I love it. I must tell you at this point, I haven't played Retro City Rampage on a normal platform, a modern computer, because it didn't appeal to me until it came out on a proper retro format. Yeah, let's have blurst processor, let's have Mega Drive style colours. See how we get on. Theft Ropolis City. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm glad that I went and grabbed the uh, CRT monitor, it makes it so much better. It looks better, it's more like the original DOS experience. Now I must say, I played this game for a bit and it was tremendous to get my hands on a DOS game, to get into a brand new game on a 486 computer, it was amazing. And I was expecting a GTA style experience, having never played this game before. What I got was a bit of a hard to control and very slow experience which didn't compel me to go back very much but you know it was still fun to play and I haven't played the original Retro Rampage and I think it's a bit better on those systems because you can zoom in and get a faster pace. Uh, on this version I don't know, I don't know, I maybe I was missing something but uh, judge for yourself. One of my favourite games for the uh, PC was the original GTA. And yeah, this is a similar. All I can say is this is not as intuitive as Grand Theft Auto ever was. Let's check the controls out. I know I can do it on screen, but I like to refer to the manual. Bloody hell, these cars are hard to drive. Get out, get out of the car, what the hell is going on? Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Okay, it's a bit hard to stop, but I killed a few people, but I don't care. No, this isn't where I'm supposed to go even. These cars do not move very quick. Hit the ramp. I don't think I've got enough speed to get over it, man. Oh yeah, apparently I have. Shoot the car. This is a bit like the Street Fighter 2 special bonus round with a gun. Hey, lovely. We're in the sewers. So, initial views on Retro City Rampage for the 486. Bloody slow. 